Hi guys, Alex here with Apple Dollars. Today we're going to go over a 2008 MacBook Unibody A1278 uh, memory upgrade. So there's a few things to note. <clears throat> the first thing you need to know is how much memory that you have. And you can do that easily by going to the top left corner, clicking on the Apple logo, going to about this Mac. This is the same procedure on every operating system, so it doesn't matter whether you have the old one or a new one. Now, what you want to do when you see the next window is you want to press more info. On the newer operating system, this window shows up right away. Up top, you can see there's four little tabs here. You want to go right into the memory tab. This memory tab is going to tell you how, how much memory you have installed and the banks in which the memory is installed. As you can see, this specific unit has two gigabytes of memory installed, one gigabyte module in each bank. Now that we have this information, we can go ahead, shut the unit down. Before we get into the good stuff, let's discuss memory. Right here you have a memory chip that was installed from factory uh, for this specific unit. This is a one gigabyte uh, PC3 8500S chip. These uh, MacBooks came with two gigabytes, two of these modules installed from factory. To operate the current operating systems you need at least four gigabytes and definitely suggested to have eight. Please note that when upgrading this memory, you need a 4 gigabyte DDR3 module that has a 1066 call sign and nothing higher than that. Anything higher than that, the logic board in this specific model will reject. That being said, there is a quick workaround around this. If you leave one of your older uh, memory chips inside of the logic board and you add another chip uh, with a faster bus rate this the old chip will slow down uh, the um, memory frequency and so it would work so if you had a one gigabyte chip left inside or a two gigabyte chip left inside that says PC 3 8500s then you will have five gigabytes or six gigabytes total after installing a four gigabyte chip. Why would you want to do that? Well, to save money because these four gigabyte chips that are PC3-1280 are extremely cheap on the market versus these legacy chips that are 1066 are pretty expensive because they've been phased out. So let's go ahead and uh, open up this MacBook, and I got a couple more things that I want to show you. Pop open the cover, remove the cover and the battery. Start with the right side, you'll have three long screws. This fourth screw on the left is the short one, so always remember up top on the left side is where the short screw goes. Down below there are four screws, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Okay, removing these eight screws, the four up top and the four up in the bottom, we'll go ahead and release this logic board main panel. Now we have complete access here to the memory modules. We can go ahead and pull these out by squishing the sides to the right and the memory will pop right up at an angle and you could just pull it right out.
can pry these a little more you get full access while we're here just want to quickly show you something very interesting if you plug in your macbook while you don't have any memory installed go ahead and open it up and power it on you hear a very distinct sound this beeping sound this beeping sound means that the system does not read any memory and there's something that's wrong with the memory controller the system doesn't detect any memory inside now if you've just installed memory um, and you hear that sound that could be for instance that you installed the wrong memory such as this memory here this is four gigabytes of PC3 1280 RAM if I put this in the bus frequency is way too fast so if I plug that in and attempted to start this computer you hear three beeps those three beeps signify that the memory is incorrect if you hear one beep that signifies that the computer is not registering any memory at all okay let's remove that now by the same token if you took this 4 gigabytes of DDR3 PC3 1280 and you took one of the older pieces of memory uh, a, uh, a 8500S 1 gigabyte chip and you put them both in because the older chip is inside the computer comes on here let me turn it back off I just wanted to demonstrate that to you we'll be installing a standard 4 gigabyte 1066 chip which will give us the maximum bus frequency um, and the maximum memory for one slot on this machine these machines take up to 8 gigabytes of memory before wrapping things up what you want to do is you want to plug in your power cord next to your computer you want to lift it up while you have it plugged in and you want to press the power button we're looking for the screen to come on if it comes on immediately press the power button again turn it off and put the macbook back down we know that the memory is seated correctly and the computer is reading it so now we can just go ahead and put on the logic board cover okay After the unit's been powered on, you want to quickly go back over to the Apple logo on the top left, go to About Your Mac, More Info, unless it takes you to the screen right away in your current operating system. Click on the Memory tab, which is on the far right. You want to make sure that you're reading the amount of memory that you got installed, and you want to make sure that the ba banks are correct. That's it. After doing that, you're done. Thanks for watching.